Hey everybody, what's going on? This is that Spoken Outcast. So, here's a freaking huge update in terms of what's been going on. So, uh, as you can tell, things haven't exactly really worked out. And if you're wondering what's going on in the background, NCIS is on in the background. If you can't already tell, I'm in a motel room right now. And I kind of don't feel like turning off the TV, but maybe I should. I don't know. So, why am I in a motel room? Well, things didn't necessarily go down very well when moving into Carrie's house. Because things weren't very clear, and we were trying to basically just set things straight in terms of what's needed, and what the rules are, and what's okay, what's not okay, blah, blah, blah. And instead of, you know, my original fear, what ended up happening was that one morning or one afternoon, whatever the hell it was, I was hanging out in the front yard with Klaus, who by the way is over here in a shade, but, so, I was hanging out with him in the front yard, and their dog, Smokey, who they haven't even had for that long, they just kind of got it as a replacement to replace, um, I don't remember his name, whatever, there was another dog they had, but it died of, like, parvo because they were idiots and didn't get it vaccinated, so, oh my god, look at my dark numbers, those are horrible, anyway, so, what's going on right now is, basically, the dog ended up getting out, and they decided to use that as a reason to kick us out, and so, they were like, well, you have a week to find out where the hell you're gonna live, and it's just kinda like, well, just kind of like, well, I don't know what the fuck you want, because we have nowhere else to go. We explain this shit to you people. I'm not talking when I'm vlogging. So, you know, they were expecting us to somehow go back to Los, ba uh, Los Banos, or wherever, and just somehow magically have a place to go, and I'm just kind of like, we can't do that, we... We'll get along with our families, they don't care about us, and they were just like, well, too bad, and I've been spending the past week or so trying to find a place to live, and every single fucking person who's renting a room, they either don't want to rent to a couple, or the minute they find out me and Marcus are a couple, they fucking amp the price up. Up here. I'm just like... Are you retarded? Like, I work at a fast food restaurant. I'm not rolling in the bank, you know? I'm not making a bajillion fucking dollars a month. I can't fucking pay you that much. I have other bills to pay, you know? And everybody's just kind of like, Whoa, then you can't live here. It's just like, fuck, we don't, like, good luck finding another person who makes that much and doesn't do drugs and shit and parties and all that. So... As of yesterday, we pretty much packed up all our shit, put it in storage, and we've been in this fucking motel room. I had to get up at 5 in the morning and then go to work and just sit there like an idiot. And everybody's like, why are you here so early? And I'm like, I don't live in Carrie's anymore. I didn't want to tell them it was because I was fucking homeless, because if they find that shit out and be like, oh, well, I don't know if we want you working here. It's just like... I'm not gonna smell, I'm gonna find a way to get clean shit, if that's what you're worried about. So, I don't know. And I'm worried too, because hours are going down for everyone, because of spring break, because we get most of our business from the teenagers, because the high school is right across the street. And so I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I need these hours, you know? Especially if I'm gonna have to put myself up somewhere, and... It's not like we can go back to the country, and we're not in the same car, and it's not as big, so it's like, how the fuck are we supposed to sleep in the car? We're gonna get caught by the cops, and they're gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, you can't be homeless, go to a fucking homeless shelter. It's like, no. I'm not gonna be treated like a drug addict. I'm not gonna be treated like an alcoholic. I'm not gonna be treated like a criminal. You know, I'm gonna be like, oh, well, you have to go to these AA meetings, and you're horrible, and you are a sinner, and that's why you're in this situation. It's like... No, it's because I keep running into stupid people, and they don't know what the fuck they want, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, and they just kind of decide to be dicks and not try to get to know me or Marcus. 
So, I'm just getting really tired of trying to find a place to lay my head, basically. I'm tired of moving around. I'm tired of trying to find a place to call home. I want to have a home to live in. And, you know, my one of my bosses, Bertha, she was like, oh, go apply for the low-income apartments. I'm like, even if I do that, it could take months, maybe years, until they get back to me. Because they have lists. Do you have any idea how many people apply for those places? Like... It doesn't mean I'm going to get in immediately until then. What the fuck am I going to do? I don't know. I'm just constantly worried about this stuff. And Marcus's job, he's trying to keep oh so desperately. But it's hard because he's having a hard time concentrating. Because of everything that's going on. And quite frankly, I don't blame him. Because yesterday, I kind of was out of it. You know, because I was like, today's the day. Today's the day we're leaving. I'm not going back to that house. I'm gonna have to sleep in a fucking hotel room or whatever tonight, and it's frustrating. It's even more frustrating because most fucking hotels don't accept pets. It's just kind of like, well, I don't know why my pet is trained in the right class. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Hi. Hi. Well, anyway, I don't know. I'm just getting really pissed off because just all this crap, like, I know most people are able to go to their friends, but like I've said, most of the friends I have are either in the same situation or worse. My coworker Sylvia, she only makes 600 a month, and for a while she was living with her mom, and now she's living at Carrie's, and it's just like, she can't do anything about it, like, she tried arguing against Carrie's parents and being like, why the fuck are you kicking them out? It's your fault that you didn't talk to them about what you felt was uncomfortable. And it was stupid. They got mad at dumb shit. They're like, oh, you used the crock pot without asking. And it's like, I was making chicken so I can make shredded chicken to make myself wraps that I can take for lunch so that way I don't have to eat shitty work food and get fat and have heart problems. Apparently that's all limits. And... I started saying shit like we needed to clean the bathroom every day, and it's like, what? Like, you didn't say this when we came over to discuss, you know, us moving in. I fucking asked them, I was like, hey, are there any rules you want to lay out? And they're like, no, and they're magically expecting us now to know all these stupid fucking rules. And they got even more pissed off. Because we put a personal lock on our door, and it's like, well, I don't trust you people. I don't fucking know you. You really want me to let you have access to my fucking room where I have a very expensive computer and a game system? No. You know, what if I'm freaking out of these eyes? You really want to walk in and fucking see my naked body? Is that what you want to do? Fucking perverts? Oh, boy. And if I hear any crap like, ooh... Well, if you have those game systems, you should sell them. No, okay? I'm not gonna fucking have to save up money again and rebuy them. No thanks, I already own them, I'm keeping them safe. It's fucking stupid to sell that shit, because even so, it's not gonna help me out of the situation, because I need somebody to understand that I have a certain amount of income and I can only pay a certain amount for rent. Or I need to get into a low-income apartment, something. Okay, like, I'm fucking sick of this shit, you know? I don't know, again, how round two of being freaking homeless is going to affect me and Marcus's time, because it seems like I'm the one that's freaking out more now, you know? Like, I don't know. I mean, maybe we can, like, hang out at fucking motels, but that's like taking all of our fucking paychecks. It's like, I don't want to do this, you know? I want... A home. How am I supposed to save up for like an apartment? How am I supposed to save up for a down payment for a room to live in if I'm too busy fucking paying for this shit? It's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I really don't. I mean, I think Carrie's parents are stupid and the fact that they just don't seem to know what they're doing or what you're supposed to do when you rent to a person. Just everything just got fucked over. I'm, just, I'm really tired, as you can tell. Look at these. Oh my god, my fucking eyes. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
I don't know. Things are just very uncertain. I'm really scared because this is round two and it's like, ah, we're like away from our original area. I don't know if there's any way that we can get back there and it's just very scary. I wish that I had friends that could help. I wish that I had people that could help. But then it's gonna happen. I've been told, you know, oh, go ask your boss if, like, they have relatives. You can say, I'm like, no, I don't want to get fired over that shit. Like, I'm not gonna fucking make my boss bully me. That's fucking stupid. It's like, you know, I'm already trying to keep it together as is and trying to keep it professional and show them that I'm hardworking. It's just like, I don't want to destroy everything by making myself look like a fucking mooch or a pathetic piece of shit or like I'm unreliable. I mean, maybe that might work with some people, but it's just like, I don't want to be like, oh, hey, by the way, I'm homeless. Can you help me? It's like, they're not, you know, a guidance counselor. They're your boss. They don't really have to give a shit about you. Sadly, that's how it is. I mean, I want managers to care about their employees. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know what's supposed to happen. I'm, I'm really tired. I'm so done with this. I just, I just want a home. That's all I'd ask for. I just, I just, I just want a home. I want a life. Okay. Yeah.